The nation's first second gentleman, Doug Emhoff, is out front in the effort to combat COVID. You can be fine. I have my two times. No problem. How do you convince the holdouts to get a shot? Just trying to talk about facts. They're safe, they're effective, they're free, they're available, and they work. Emhoff says he prefers to steer clear of politics, but his wife, Vice President Kamala Harris, is facing renewed scrutiny after Wednesday's announcement that she'll go to the border for the first time tomorrow. As you've witnessed, Republicans have made a big thing out of this. Former President Trump today said the reason she's going this week is because he's going next week. What do you make of that? Kamala Harris is not driven by any political issues or political pressure. She's really just doing what the right thing is to do for this very important job that the president entrusted her with. You're a husband. When you see the attacks, when you see the criticism, what do you think? Look, you're a husband too, Peter. No one wants to see anyone they love attacked or criticized, but look, that's, that's part of what she signed up for in this life of public service. It's part of the territory, and for her, like if you could see what I see behind the scenes, it's, she's just focused on the work working hard and getting it done for the American people. As the first woman, black, South Asian vice president, do you think that your wife is treated differently because she's a woman and a woman of color? Um, probably, but so what? I mean, she has faced challenges uh, as a groundbreaker her, her whole career. I think she said at times, you know, there's when you're breaking barriers, there's breaking involved, and in breaking means you might get cut sometimes, but that's okay. It's worth it because she's leading a path for others. Emhoff left a successful career as an entertainment lawyer to support his wife's ambitions. What message do you hope that your experience sends to other men? Men have to step up and step up for the people that they love and actually show it. It's manly to love and care about uh, others. Still, Emhoff admits being thrust into the glaring public spotlight has been jarring. The moment his new reality sunk in. It was the COVID memorial on this Lincoln steps and the reflecting pond. And that's when it really hit me. Oh, my goodness. This is really happening. It sunk and in you, there's the cameras and the Secret Service and you walk out and there's pres soon to be President Biden and First Lady. There have been light moments too, like in April when he was caught on camera blowing kisses to his wife ahead of the president's joint address, a clip that went viral. Do you ever stop in those moments and think, how did I get here? Every minute of every day. And sometimes she and I will look at each other and just, I'll say, you're the vice president of the United States. And she's like, you're the second gentleman of the United States. So it's just, it, it is a little surreal. A lot of people are already talking about who the next president's going to be. Do you want her to run? Is that something you guys talk about? And we're two people who are not talking about that. We're just so focused on... So that's hard for me to believe, that you, like, you walk into the White House, you, you don't ever say, man, can you imagine being here? We've spent zero seconds talking about that, just so focused on task at hand. His wife, of course, not the only history maker in the family. Mr. Emphoff is the first Jewish spouse of a vice president. And he tells me that he feels this unique responsibility to speak out against hate and the recent rise in anti-Semitism. As for the vice president's trip to the border tomorrow, he called her recent visit to Mexico and Guatemala successful, despite criticism from both Republicans and Democrats, and says this is just the next phase in her effort to address the root causes of migration. Back to you guys. All Remember? right, Peter Alexander. Peter, thanks. Of course, there's going to be more of your interview tonight on Nightly News. Thanks, Peter. Fascinating conversation, buddy. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.